What does the guest want when he has something to complain? All right, let's dig deeper now into a mindset of the guests when they are complaining. The first thing the guests want is someone to talk to. Just think about yourself when you have problems. Don't you crave for someone that you can share this problem and just talk to them and just release this pressure inside your chest this is what the guest wants to. They have a complaint. They came to the restaurant to enjoy their, their you know, dinner or friends and whatever. And they have compla complained now because something is not right. And they want somebody to talk to and somebody that will listen to them. All right. Now, they want someone who takes the time needed all right, to listen very carefully, be focused and be empathic and understanding. They want someone who takes their problem seriously, you know, show genuine concern about the problem the guest has. Do not dismiss them. Do not look around. Do not roll eyes. You take this problem seriously. They also want somebody, someone by whom they feel, un, you know, understood. So we, like I said, use the proper body language the proper face expression and the proper words. I understand, sir. I understand, ma'am. You have the right to complain. This is very unpleasant. All right. And then, of course, you nick with your head and you show some empathy. They want someone with a competent appearance. All right. Do not show fear. Stay poised. Show authority. Show confidence. And that will be in confidence in the guest that you can solve their problem. They want someone who helps him to solve the problem. All right. So tell the guests what are the solutions to the problem. You know, let them choose. All right. And that, you know, like I said, persuasive approach. You got to be really persuasive. We got the right solution, sir. We're going to do this and this and this and this. Or maybe would you like to have this and this and this and this multiple solutions. The guests start thinking, wow, this guest. This guy gave me so many solutions. I will choose this. And then, of course, follow the steps. And they want someone who has decision-making skills. All right? And can implement his decision successfully. Very important. You got to be confident in your approach because they want to see that some that you can, you have this, you know, the, the, the decision-making skills. And you know how to implement the solutions that you already offer them. All right. So take swift action, explain to the guests what's going to happen, you know, and how long it's going to take to solve the problem. And once you take those steps, you come back and you give them feedback. Sir, everything is taken care, is being taken care in the kitchen. You know, if the food was the problem, we will be back with the food in five minutes. And like I said, you offer some extra uh, for the guests while they are waiting, if that's necessary. All right, some fun facts. Did you know that only 5% of the guests complain directly to the person who is causing the problem or is aware of it? If you're the problem, only 5% from the guests in the restaurant will complain to you. 95% will leave without saying nothing to you. They might complain to your manager in the front door. They might complain to the front desk. They might sit down and write a terrible review in the rest in the, you know, the social media. And who wants that? Nobody. It's much better when the guest is right there on the table and complain immediately when the problem occur, so you can take the steps necessary to fix the problem and make the guest happy. So you don't have report at the management desk, you don't have report at the front desk, you don't have report on the social media when there is nothing you can do about it. You understand? That's why we should never be angry at guests that are complaining. We should be thankful to them. A single unhappy guest tells 
8 to 11 people about their experience. I already talked about it. Once he leave the restaurant angry, he would tell up to 11 people about his terrible experience and he would turn those 11 people of never visitors. They would never come because of the experience of their friend. Now, on average, happy guest tells only three to four people about their positive experience. If the guest was in the restaurant and everything went perfect and he's so happy, he would tell three to four people about their, you know, beautiful experience in the restaurant. The funny thing is that if you had a complaint, this guest come to the restaurant, there's something problematic, you took care of this complaint and he left the restaurant happy. Now he would tell up to five, six people about his positive experience. That's not little difference, guys. Now, 90% are willing to come back after effective handling of complaint. This is huge for the business. A guest has a complaint, you take care of it. 90% of those guests are more willing to come back as a repeat customer. What is the percentage of those guests that you didn't take properly care of their complaint that are willing to come back into the restaurant? Less than 10. So we're losing actually, if we don't take care properly of the complaint, we're losing eight out of 10 people. And if we take care properly about their complaint, we are gaining nine out of those 10 people that complain. So it's a big, big difference for the business. And you have to make sure that you are really, really good at handling complaints because complaints happen all the time. We make mistakes, the kitchen make mistakes. And of course, there are a lot of, lot of outside factors that uh, might bring us a complaint. You have to know also that acquiring a new guest can cost five times more than retaining an existing guest. So what that means, you have a guest in the restaurant, he's eating nice steak with a nice bottle of wine and he complains about the steak because it's not properly cooked and he wants another one. That might cost the restaurant, let's say 30 bucks, all right? But if you take care of that and you bring him perfectly cooked steak and he eat it and enjoy the wine and leave the restaurant in a good note, he will return back. So you retain this guest. But if he leaves angry and he never comes back for the restaurant, the marketing that it takes to, to bring an outside guest and make it a customer, it's going to take much more than those $30. Do you understand? Much more than those $30. It might take $150 to bring a new guest in the restaurant. That's how it works. And that's why it's so important, so crucial that we never let a guest leave the restaurant angry and dissatisfied.